So let's already assume that you have your camera because uh, that's pretty much a given when you uh, get yourself a RAS telescope. Uh, the accessories, however, aren't so much a given and it can be a little bit confusing as to what you, uh, you may need to get, especially those that are beginning in the world of astrophotography and uh, thinking about a Celestron and RASA uh, 8 telescope. So, number one, a dew shield. Now, why a dew shield? Well, dew shields uh, help reduce the amount of uh, reflection and stray light coming into your optical path or hitting the front of your uh, RASA 8 telescope. It can also assist with uh, reducing dew on your uh, on the front of your um, corrector plate. Now, it won't help throughout very uh, heavy dew situations, but those nights where there might be just a tinkering of, of dew around, a dew shield can certainly help you out there. Now on the topic of dew, my second item that I uh, advise is a dew heater. Now, dew heaters can come in a couple of different variations for the RASA telescope these days, and that is the uh, more common dew strip, um, which just wrap, wraps around your, your telescope with a bit of Velcro. Uh, however, you do need a dew heater controller uh, to run them. The second item is uh, a new one for 2022, and that is the Celestron dew heater ring. Once again, you need a dew heater controller uh, to control that, but what this enables you to do teamed up with your dew shield is really reduce the amount of dew forming on those optics and giving you nice, clear, beautiful images throughout the whole night. Now, when it comes to imaging, the Celestron Rasa does have its drawbacks. And that is the fact that if you want to use filters like light pollution filters, narrowband filters, uh, RGB filters, uh, depending on if you have a monochrome or a color uh, camera on the front of your, uh, your Rasa, Changing it is going to be an issue because if you unscrew your camera to uh, replace the actual filter inside the RASA and you're going to be using that uh, filter cell, then you've got to make sure that your camera is back in the same orientation so that way when you go to uh, image, especially if you're using monos and you're imaging in RGB or narrowband, you want to make sure that your orientation is exactly the same so you're not having to crop off uh, any areas. So this is why my third item I recommend is a filter changer. Now there are only really a couple of options when it comes to filter changes uh, in the world of the RASA 8 at this stage, purely because of the short back focus the RASA has. So that's a challenge on its own. However, you have the Star Arizona or Star Arizona uh, filter changer, which is fairly basic, but very simple and effective in what it does. It's just a uh, simple um, filter cell that you can pull out, put your filter in and slide it back in. Perfect for your one shot cam uh, color cameras and your monochrome uh, cameras for filter switching. That's the cheaper option. The more expensive option, which is the one that I really do recommend, and that is the Beta FCCT Camera Tilt Filter Changer. And basically it's exactly that. It's a all in one unit. Now, the reason I do recommend this product is because when you uh, when you get your RASA um, and you're imaging your F2, maybe over time of pulling your RASA down and putting it back up and putting it down, putting it back up if you don't have yourself a permanent um, observatory for it, or if you're one that's also used to be like me a bit and go traveling into uh, my dark skies and you might be driving over some uh, very uh, corrugated uh, outback sort of roads, um, your RASA is going to bounce around a little bit and that could throw out the uh, combination of the actual unit itself, meaning that your stars over the full, uh, so, uh, full size of your um, sensor may not be as pinpoint as what it was when you first got it. What that uh, uh, camera tilt uh, enables you to do is adjust very easily and very simply the uh, your sensor plane with the optical um, on your uh, on your RASA to then get back your pinpoint stars across the whole frame. The bonus is it's also got the filter changer in it as well. So like the Star Arizona um, filter changer and the Beta 
a SCCT uh, one or two version uh, filter changer. You can also insert a dark frame um, filter or create your own little dark frame, dark frame slide. And that is also gonna help out with uh, calibration frames. So that way you don't really have to worry about taking the camera off uh, your RASA anymore. So the fourth thing I recommend for your RASA 8 telescope is an electronic focus motor. Now, the reason I say that is that imaging at F2, your focus needs to be absolutely smack bang on. Critical focus is key with the RASA 8. And with an F2 system, it is uh, a lot more difficult. I'm not saying that you can't achieve it with the standard focus, uh, focus knob that uh, usually sits on the back of your RASA 8 when you buy it, but it does make things a lot better and a lot easier with an electronic focus motor. Now, there are various companies that make the electronic focus motor for the RASA 8, as well as adapters to fit their um, focus motors on. So it depends on what sort of architecture of a, a system you're building to whether what sort of uh, electronic focus motor you're going to uh, uh, to use. The ZWA works really well with the, uh, the ZWA ASI Air platform. So if you're using that sort of system, um, you know, it's a, it's a great start. If you're in the computer uh, running systems of architecture and design of your uh, imaging session, then of course the ZWA is gonna work fine with that. But also the Celestron uh, focus motor, which I believe sits on the back of a RASA 8 a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, and it works uh, extremely well as well. Now, if I can use twin Celestron uh, focus motors for my twin RASA system, then I will jump on that in a heartbeat and I will use it at this stage. I cannot confirm that, so that's the reason why I haven't gone ahead and purchased a second uh, Celestron RASA, a uh, Celestron focus motor. But yes, that is the, uh, the top four items I recommend for the RASA 8. Well everyone, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a big thumbs up. If this is the first video that you have uh, seen of mine, please check out some of my other videos. And if you enjoy uh, what you see there, please hit that subscribe. Every subscribe means a great deal to me. And uh, I really appreciate everyone that has subscribed and their support uh, in helping build this uh, YouTube channel especially to do with mostly with the RASA 8 telescope. All right, guys, that's it for me. So uh, if you've got any questions, leave a comment. And until next time, take it easy, guys. See ya.